I've been testing this Nama juicer now for a couple of months. I absolutely love it. It's cold press juicer. So the way this one works, it's a very slow grinding process. Um, you put your vegetables chopped up in the top, and then it slowly grinds and then produces a really smooth juice that's got all the nutrients in. It hasn't been destroyed by the heating process of some of the kind of more centrifugal juices. Um, so it's kind of like a slow macerating process. Um, so absolutely love this one. Um, they've just sent me the new model, um, which has just arrived. So I'm going to be testing and trying this one. I don't know what the upgrades are on it. Um, I don't know what the difference is. So I'm going to unpack it, use it, and um, I'll share my thoughts on the latest model. One thing I love about this is their packaging. They come in kind of individual little boxes, all the little components. Um, usually really easy to put together. I'm thinking this is probably going to be the same setup as the last one. So it comes in all the individual boxes. Like that. Yeah, really love the packaging. It always comes really nicely packaged. So this is their latest model that they've just sent to me. Um, I absolutely love it. It's uh, much smaller than the other one. Um, but if you've got a, like a small kitchen, we always struggle with space in our kitchen. And so the big one obviously takes up a lot of room. So this is a really nice compact size. It's a, kind of got a matte finish to it. It's the same the kind of setup. Um, it has like the kind of um, outer part. Then you have your filter that you put in. Um, there's another filter there which has got larger holes in it. Then fits into this part. Um, so this is the um, the filter, and then this is the kind of macerating um, blade, if you like, that kind of then fits very easily into there. And then you then just put the lid on the top. You just twist it and then you put it on the top and that's it so they're really really simple to put together um, really then easy to wash because you can take them apart rinse them so it's very quick and easy to use and uh, then obviously there's a jug here for this will be for collecting the juice and the pulp said it's, this is always beautifully packaged they all come in little individual pouches uh, so keeping all the little parts safe when you pack it away and then oh I like this one so this this one has actually got the lid on it um, so you can make the juice and then put it into the fridge when you've got some over. And then this one will be for collecting the pulp. So you put this one under here for collecting the pulp, and then you put this one under here for collecting the juice. So I'll um, put it through its paces. I'll make a, a juice um, now so you can kind of see the process. But um, so far, loving this and absolutely love the smaller size. I think this is probably the smallest one I've ever seen. Um, so this will be actually perfect for our kitchen. So in the lid, it has um, a layering guide. Now, this is actually really important when you're um, stacking your fruit and vegetables into um, the chamber. So you put your soft leafy items at the bottom. Um, so yes, yeah, so you kind of your, your leaves. Then you have your the very soft fruit, so um, lemon. So if I was making a green juice, I'd put my spinach at the bottom. Then I'd put my lemon um, and ginger. 
then you put your next layer which would be like things like your cucumbers your celeries things that are slightly harder and then on the top is the really hard items so your carrots apples beetroot things like that so i would just stack them in um, in that level let that work through and then if i've got an additional ones i'd then kind of feed that through um, at the end so um sometimes it doesn't always fit in so i would just uh, put some extra afterwards uh, once the juice has got going so yeah so that that's kind of your, your little layering guide to give you an idea of when to put the things in so i'm going to start with a really simple green juice this is one of my favorite ones for the morning so starting with the layering system i'd put my um, fresh spinach in first this is a lot smaller, obviously, than the ones I'm used to, so I'm going to kind of gauge it. But I tend to put like a couple of handfuls of spinach in. Um, then I've got my chunks of cucumber, put those in. Um, you do have to break, cut things up fairly smooth so it doesn't get stuck. I've got my lemon I'm putting in, and then the harder items, a little bit of fresh ginger. And then I've got my celery that will go on the top. So that's quite full now and I've still got a little bit of celery to go, but I will start the process with that and then I'll just add my celery in as I go. Um, so it's literally just turn. And now I can start the process. And as you can see, it's very slow, it's very quiet um, and it will just gradually grind and you'll see the juice collecting into this part at the bottom and then all the pulp will start to come out this side here. So as you can see, the pulp that comes out is really dry, it's literally taken everything out and it's kind of left all the fibre. Um, I think you can use this fibre for baking. Um, I did see some recipes where you can kind of use this in the cake mixture. And uh, I wanted to see if there's some other things I could find to, to use this. Um, but in, but obviously it goes on the corner for screen user. As you can see, the green juice is now coming. We're nearly out of um, vegetables. So I'm just going to put the rest of my celery in. With this recipe, you can also put apple in it um, to sweeten it. Um, but I've run out of apples, so I'm just making my juice without the apples. So there's a maximum line on here, so when the juice gets up to that, I then release it if it's going to, if it looks like it's going to go over. the end so the um, fibres stopped coming through so just turn it off. This is probably about two big handfuls of spinach and probably about five or six um, stalks of celery, uh, a third of a lemon and um, I suppose a piece about that big of cucumber. perfect measure of a green drink. It does always a very good juice. So if you're new to this kind of juices, um, they obviously it comes with a starting guide, really simple instructions. Um, I said it's so simple and easy to put together. And then a juicing recipe book um, with lots of really tasty juicing ideas, carrot and turmeric immunity booster so yeah you'll definitely find a recipe in here that will become your your firm favorite i just wanted to quickly show you how quick and easy it is to wash uh, so it, it comes apart really easily you just take the top off twist it and then pull the inside parts out still got you've got the um the grinder in there where you can kind of see but then you just rinse it so that's just easily rinsed it comes with a little brush which is quite 
quite good for this part. I can apply that. This one, um, this is this was on the other model, but I, I haven't seen this on any of the other juices. You've got like a little lever that you pull down, and then you can get out the last of the pulp. Um, this is a really good addition because I think previous ones that I've had of other models, this part's been really really hard to get the the pulp out. That's now clean. And then the last part. And that's it. All washed and clean. And that's the blade that's inside it. So it's actually, it's not sharp. Um, obviously you wouldn't want to put your hands in it, but it's it's not a sharp blade uh, because this is just the blade that's turning around to push the vegetables and the fruit down through the hole, which then goes into this part, which then slowly grinds it. Um, and then, uh, so it's, it's very different to a blender. And you say you can wash it really easily um, it's not dangerous at all so that's it and then I would just leave it to dry um, on the draining board and I'll then put it together a bit later on ready for tomorrow so here you can see the new uh, Nama J3 cold press juicer um, alongside the uh, one that I um, tested earlier uh, in the year so as you can see the size difference um, this is much smaller than this one and um, this is perfect for small kitchens um, for making juices uh, although yes you would make a, you can make a single juice and um, you could then obviously go through the process and make another one afterwards if you're making it for two people but um, yeah this is perfect for, for small kitchens and then yeah if you're making a lot of juice then um, you would look at the, the larger model both work um, exactly the same way it's just this has got some different kind of features on here um, like with the jug with the lid and um, it's both easy very simple to use and put together so my verdict on um, the Nama juicers is they're absolutely perfect um, they are I, I say I've used centrifugal juicers um, I've used other cold press juicers but these ones are definitely the easiest to put together, the simplest to take apart and clean, um, and they have some additional kind of functions to them which make them really super easy to use. So if you're interested in cold press juicing, um, I would definitely take a look at the Nama range, and um, if you've got a small kitchen, then I would go with this one.